Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the show. Great to be here with you, ending the week right. We're getting together, and we are going over the absolute best of the week. Today, I have for you a book review. Hopefully, you two did the yesterday's show. Uh, If you weren't able to yet, I've got the book review for you today. A brand new stress relief parasympathetic nervous system inducing tech-based device that I've really been enjoying using over the last two weeks. You're going to want to stay tuned for this one and some new research on gut bacteria and how it may be affecting your chances of getting ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, or potentially even uh, Parkinson's as well. Plus, we have research on why eating late at night may have detrimental effects, almost irreversible effects on your body's ability to create healthy fat versus unhealthy fat in your body. That and so much more coming up on today's show. So once again, thank you for tuning in today. Today's episode 1995. So if you're wondering where any of the research is, the books, the tech, all those great things, head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash 1995. And we will definitely have all of the links there. Plus, the big three takeaways for today. All right. First things first, I always give you the updates from the private practice over at Equal Life. So Equal Life and IHP and really everything we have going on. So basically, when you look at what we do, uh, I, I had a practice in Boston, two practices for many years. That practice in Boston morphed to be a virtual-based practice a couple of years after the podcast started. We get a 50, about 50% of people from all over the world and 50% of people from around Boston. And then it slowly started to grow to 80-20 and then 90-10. And, and at that point, we said, okay, let's really expand this to be a global functional medicine integrative health-based practice. That's exactly what we did uh, around 2018. I know many of you have been here uh, since the start in 2017. I appreciate you. I truly do. For strong years uh, of being able to really deliver what we feel is integrative health at scale. Over 30 countries around the world, we ship at-home labs to protocols, you name it. Well, we are not ones to pat ourselves on the back or try to give ourselves a gold star or anything like that. Far from it. Uh, we We are a group of people that is simply dedicated to saying, what would I want as a wellness-based client, as someone that's trying to optimize my health, that's trying to get my body into shape, that's trying to live longer. And that's what we do. And we, we ask that question really every single day, and how can we better serve? And that, that's the truth. That really is. We have almost 12,000 people now in Cabral Support Group, a free uh, support group, private Facebook group. Uh, we're building out some pretty amazing software that's coming out in the future. And I just wanted to let you know, uh, this will be debuting in early 2020. Yes, I know it's about six months away. However, however, we are working on our anti-aging line. And after about 12 months, a year in development, we are now rolling out the manufacturing, getting started on that for eight to 10 anti-aging based products with two flagship products that I will talk more about in the future. So stay tuned. Big things coming early 2022. I'll certainly be talking about that more towards the end of the year, but I wanted to let you know what's going on behind the scenes. Again, so much coming. Stay tuned for that. And of course, I'll be announcing it right here on the Friday Review podcast. Okay, next up, uh, I have two big announcements besides that. The first one is this. For anyone, friends, family, coworkers, uh, acquaintances, I am now giving away the Rain Barrel Effect, the book. It's our three-year anniversary uh, for free. So you can actually go to stephencabral.com. 
And you can, at the top of the page, you can literally just click free book. And while those supplies last, while we have the printing, uh, it's completely free. So you just pay shipping and handling. Um, I can't pay the shipping and handling. I mean, it would be great. It would be nice if I was able to do that. I'm not able to do pay everybody shipping and handling, uh, but for seven, around $7 or so, uh, literally the cost of what it's going to take to put that in a, a mailer and ship that out to you, uh, you get the 400 page book completely free. It's my entire de-stress protocol. And it's really how people get unwell and how to get well again. I mean, that's really what it's all about. It's exactly how I practice. It's what I do to this day. Three years later, the information is just as relevant as it was three years ago. And now, you know, what seemed somewhat groundbreaking back then is really being able to be said, okay, yeah, people get this, they understand it. And so now more than ever, I think people are more receptive to it. So that completely free over at stephencabral.com. Feel free to send people uh, that way if you would like. And then uh, this week, I'm happy and I'm excited to share with you, we have our semi-annual sale going on over at Equalife. So you probably heard the intro this week to the show. Hopefully you've been tuning in. Uh, But yes, everything at Equalife, which is our global integrative health practice, uh, is up to 25% off store-wide. And every single day, uh, something new, something fun my team is doing. So definitely head on over to Equalife, which is just E-Q-U-I.L-I-F-E. That's the fancy website. And uh, you'll be able to see everything that's going on right now. Uh, definitely stock up on your labs and or your protocols or your whatever you need uh, while we're offering these, these great deals. Because as you probably could tell by the name, uh, it's happening once every six months. All right. So semi-annual sale going on now. Check it out over on Equal Life. All right. Podcast recap for the week. Hopefully, like I said, you've been with us, <clears throat> excuse me, all week. But if you haven't, or you want a refresher, episode 1991 was our Motivation and Mindset Monday. That show took you through overcoming your inner Frankenstein. And believe me, we all have that person inside of us. It is those automatic negative thoughts that are running through our head. Uh, What do we do about them? How do we overcome them? And all of that and much more inside of that show, as well as awakening your inner Einstein, which is two phrases from John Osaroff, who is our podcast guest yesterday on episode 1994. Uh, John was one of the hit stars from the movie The Secret about 15 years ago. He was already Uh, Well, he was already making a name for himself far before that movie, uh, but that movie, that documentary, was seen by over 500 million people or so, like a half a billion people. So his stock, as they say, uh, shot right up after that. We had an amazing interview yesterday. I do hope that you tuned in for that. That um, that was fantastic. I mean, really taking you through. I think I, I think I purposely said probably less than three minutes like of words the whole time. I was just like, John, you go teach people what they need to know. And, and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. So hopefully you tuned into that episode 1994. Definitely let John know what you thought about the show. Uh, in between those two shows, Tuesday and Wednesday, we went over can intermittent fasting improve mood neurotransmitters. So check that out. Um, We went over three neurotransmitters that intermittent fasting may help and how many hours you need in order to get that. And then episode 1993 was, does a high fat diet and late night eating cause irreversible weight gain? Some new research on that. So certainly check it out. All right, now let's move into our product review of the week. This week, we are going over a very new and interesting device called the Cove. So this is a device that I found out about six months or so ago, and I reached out to the company. I wanted to know more information about what it is that this actually does, because I've been looking for a unit, a piece of biotech that would naturally stimulate certain nerves that would then allow, or skin, I should say, that would then allow a relaxation response to the body. And here's why. So it's it's really interesting because we know that healing takes place really in the parasympathetic nervous system. So we need to get out of the fight or flight. We need to get out of our everyday stressful life. And we need to be able to get into a place of rest and relax where our body is can heal on its own, right? Because we're always trying to put it in position to heal. We put it in position to heal with the right vitamins and minerals, the right uh, omega-3s, the right sleep, uh, the right, and then what do we do? Meditation, breathing. All of these things are actually to help us to get more into the parasympathetic while at the same time uh, giving the body all the minerals and, and vitamins and nutrients that it needs to replace those deficiencies. So when I found this device, 
I looked more into it and I said, listen, before I review a device like this, is this something that I want to share with my, my community, my listeners? And the research is actually pretty phenomenal. And I want to share this with you and then I can't wait to share and show you the device. So I actually talked with the company themselves because I really wanted to get to know the product. And this is, this is a lot of what they had to say. I'm just summing it up for you. So this Cove device, I'm going to show you exactly how it works by attaching it basically to the back of the head, uses carefully calibrated vibrations applied to the skin to activate a natural relaxation response in the brain. And remember, the brain is then going to send signals down your spinal cord to innervate more of the parasympathetic nerves to then calm the entire nervous system and body. So in each 20-minute session, Cove activates the brain's interoceptive pathway, which is a neural network that includes the insular cortex and is involved in stress, sleep, and emotional processing. What does that mean? Well, it sends out vibrations right behind the ear that then are received by the brain that then begin to send signals to the rest of the body to induce more calm, which helps reduce stress, which then helps improve sleep and emotional response. So in four plus years of clinical studies with Brown University and led by a neuroscientist from Harvard Medical School, we've confirmed, this is Cove, that EEGs and FMRIs, that in each 20-minute session, Cove's patented technology recognized by specific touch receptors in the skin as effective touch naturally activates the brain's interoceptive pathway resulting in 41% less stress and 50% improved sleep. Only this specific signal showed this effect consistently and was the most comparable to meditation. So I'm going to link up. You can find more about the science. Like if you're a science-based person, you love biohacking, you love the science behind it, I'm going to link this up at uh, stephencabral.com forward slash 1995. If the company um, can pass on any additional information, I know they'll do that. But I'm going to give you the specific scientific research. And then I also wanted to follow up about EMFs because I do not want to add any EMFs to my body or especially near my brain. So Cove has the science behind this as well. They've been tested and emits very low levels of EMF while it's being used via Bluetooth with the app. For context, specific absorption rate is the pertinent measure of EMF exposure. Cove is 96% under the FCC guidelines and well below that of a cell phone, emitting the only 4% of the specific absorption rate limit value. Plus, you can even use the device, which I did just on a flight just three days ago, uh, without Bluetooth. So you can actually use the device without the app and then have no EMFs there as well. So here's the device. It comes in a, a nice hard carrying case because this is something that I travel with. So essentially, it comes in this beautiful, if you're watching this on video, it's just a hard travel case that actually looks like almost like virtual reality goggles here that you would put on. It's the best way, it's the easiest way for me to describe it. But when you take it out of the packaging, you see that it's actually a small little device here. Now, what you want to do is flip it the opposite way right here, okay? You're going to expand it. You can see that it expands for the size of your head, and then you're going to put it on the back of your head. So these larger pieces right here on the inside, you can see it's very flexible. They're vibration-based pads. There's three, I believe there's, there's one, well, I don't know how many there are exactly inside, but it looks like three. And you're going to put the small piece over the ear, and then you're going to close the clasp in the back to make it the perfect size for your head. So that's me closing it right there. And you can barely feel it on your head. Now, on the right side, there is a power button. Again, you can use it with the app or without the app. And on the left side, there's an up and down button that allows you to increase the vibrations or decrease the vibrations for the right feel for you. So it goes from basically zero to 10, 10 being the strongest vibration, uh, and then one being the lowest. I like typically, if I'm just in a quiet meditation and I'm doing this maybe with some red light therapy and maybe some binaural beats, I love listening to binaural beats and red light therapy. Like that's like the supercharging, right? My parasympathetic, I've got my red light, 
I've got binaural beats on and I've got the vibrations from the cove. That's how I have been enjoying doing it. And I enjoy it. I do it one other time per day without the red light therapy of the binaural beats. And I do it at night before bed, typically 20 minutes before bed, 30 minutes before bed. I can do it sitting seated quietly or simply brushing my teeth, getting ready for bed, taking my dog out. And what it does is the nice thing about this is it does the work for you right? So it's inducing vibrations, but it's, I've used other one devices that have been uh, on the ring or on a bracelet, like a, a wristband and, and they're good. I'm not saying that they're not good. This one though is right in an area that traditional Chinese medicine teaches us uh, really has a relaxation response with the body. So when we were learning Chinese physiotherapy, when I was in Beijing, one of the things that we did to elicit a relaxation response was actually massage right around this trigeminal area right behind the ear. Now, I'm not saying that this induces a vagal nerve based uh, response or tone, but what we do is we're, we're very close to it. So with the cove, what we're doing is we're getting this effective touch, like a very relax, a relaxation based response. So one of the ways that you kind of induce relaxation, John Osaroff actually talked about this on a podcast I did with him in an interview, is just a light touch to the skin. This is acting as a very light touch, a sensitive touch to the skin, and it's inducing relaxation. So it's actually a pretty fantastic uh, device, meaning that you know, the question is, will I use this product after my review of the product is over? And the answer is yes. I've already taken this on airplane flights with me uh, for that relaxation response because we all know how insane airports can be sometimes. Uh, and I especially love it before bed as well. I can do it while doing biofeedback before bed, which is just doing some box breathing, looking at a little app, uh, using my Apple Watch for biofeedback at the same exact time. So I love um, using multiple uh, devices at once. But this alone, to get you into deeper meditation or to act as a meditative-based response while you're doing other things during the day, because you can do other things during the day, like reading, research, listening to music, whatever it might be, uh, you know, cooking dinner, whatever it might be, you're, you're able to use this at the same time. So uh, easy to charge, use it uh, with very low EMF or no EMF at all. It's got a great simple app to use as well. I'm going to link everything up for you today. Um, and you know, this is again, a product that I can definitely recommend. And I want to give you, I want to make sure that I get it exactly right for you. And I'm going to go to their homepage right now, which is feelcove.com. And, uh, I want to make sure that we get this exactly for you. It is a hug for your, a hug for your mind. I love that. I wanted to leave you with that tagline because it really is like a hug for your mind. So uh, enjoy it. I'm going to link everything up. If the company offers some type of discount coupon code to our community, of course, I'll pass that along to you. That will be at stephencabral.com forward slash 1995. And our book review for the week is Inner Size. Again, hopefully you checked out John Osaroff's interview yesterday. This is his latest book uh, called Inner Size, The New Science to Unlock Your Brain's Hidden Power. I read this book. I only read it about six months ago. It was kind of a, a new to me. Like I didn't know that he had written this book as well. Uh, this is something that I've enjoyed reading and especially enjoyed going back to beginning with page 209. So 209, for the next 30 pages of the book, 40 pages of the book, John takes you through specific exercises to be able to better visualize believe, and then achieve any goal you set for yourself. So it has to do with breathing. Again, why? Calming the sympathetic nervous system, telling your body it's okay. That's really what it's all about. If, you, if you're talking about, hey, how do I increase lifespan? How do I improve overall health? You have to reduce stress hormones. It's so important as we get into aging. So Again, great book. Uh, you'll probably hear about a lot of it yesterday. I do hope you tuned into that. But um, if you if you don't want to read, uh, or I should say, if you don't want to tune into yesterday's podcast, but you want to read in depth, check it out. I'll link it up. It's called Inner Size by John Asaraf. All right. Now for the research for the day, we are getting into our first one, uh, which is, I, I felt this was so important. I had to reiterate it before I get to my last research study for the day. All right. A lot of people say, well, you either have the genetic susceptibility or you don't for something like Lou Gehrig's disease or Parkinson's or Alzheimer's or whatever it might be. And to you, I say you're exactly correct. Yes, you have genetic susceptibility to Alzheimer's. 
You have genetic susceptibility to Lou Gehrig's, genetic susceptibility to Parkinson's. You have genetic susceptibility to anything that could go wrong with your body. So this isn't anything new. Could be the gene for breast cancer, for prostate cancer, for cardiovascular issues, like so many issues, right? Weight gain, you name it. But it goes deeper. And, and again, this is so important for us to begin to look at it. Our body, and I'm going to link the two research studies here together, even though they're separate. Our body has to maintain a state of equilibrium. If it does not maintain a state of equilibrium, that is when genetic susceptibility comes to the forefront. And it happens by overflowing your rain barrel. So two days ago in episode 1993, I went over what happens when you're eating when it's dark out. I'm not talking about a gloomy, rainy day. I'm talking about what happens when you're eating at 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock at night. This goes for alcohol or food. What happens is this. The body becomes imbalanced, that it has to compensate to a greater degree, and that you actually can begin to create fatty liver and visceral body fat, as well as fat beginning to develop in places that it shouldn't. If we're developing this type of really negative forms of fat, what happens is we are more susceptible than to inflammation. If we are more susceptible to inflammation, we increase cardiovascular risk, stroke and high blood pressure, diabetes, and cancer, the four leading causes of disease. Besides that, we then allow for our rain barrel to overflow, and then lo and behold, our diseases that we get diagnosed with, diagnosed with that comes from our genetic susceptibility. So, Let's get into the, so that's the first research study. Be careful not to eat when it's dark out, meaning like after seven o'clock or so at night, and let's say before five or six o'clock in the morning. All right. The second part is this new research study. This is out of uh, Harvard University in Boston, right down the road from me, published in Nature. I'm going to read it to you exact. And then I'll link it up, of course, today at episode 1995 if you want to do a little bit more research. In recent years, medical researchers have established a connection between gut health and neurological conditions such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Now, they have uncovered a similar connection regarding amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. I apologize about mispronouncing that. It's ALS. It's Lou Gehrig's disease. Comparing two populations of laboratory mice that both had genetic mutations making them vulnerable to ALS, scientists found that ALS development was associated with a mix of bacteria in the gut and that the inflammation was associated with ALS could be reduced through the use of antibiotics and fecal transplants from mice with healthy gut biomes. Okay, let me break this down. This is really important. Essentially, what they found was there are people that are genetically susceptible. Let's call it, we put the gene inside of a, a mouse because, again, we're doing mice studies before human studies. That's how a good research works because you don't want to experiment on humans. It's, it's obviously there's ethics to that as well. So what they found was that genetic susceptibility or not, disease or not, if you change the gut microbiome, reduce certain negative forms of bacteria, repopulated with healthy forms of bacteria, you were able to potentially stave off ALS. Which is why I'm always saying, because people are always emailing in, can you treat ALS? Can you treat Parkinson's? Can you treat autoimmune issues? Can you treat this? Listen, there's no treating those things. You don't treat them, okay? You, we have to stop believing in these names of diseases that we've come up with right? We know who Lou Gehrig was. Many people do. Yeah, it's not a disease. It's a human, okay? There is, there is a rain barrel effect. There's heavy metals. There's viruses. There's food sensitivities. There's stress hormones. There's gut bacteria. There's a lot of things that overflow that rain barrel. If you have improper gut bacteria, it could lead to then ALS, but what if you didn't have imbalanced gut bacteria? Would you get ALS? These studies are showing potentially not. And if we're able to understand that, which we are, could we then prevent this from happening in the future? I believe so. So 
Would I use antibiotics and then would I use fecal transplants? No, I, mean, I would not. I would look at running something like the bacteria and parasite stool test. I would do something like citricidal and the CBO protocol. But again, these are not treatment protocols. I'm not giving you medical advice or treatment protocols. And then I would repopulate with healthy bacteria. Now, of course, conventional medicine, they use antibiotics. Why? It's a prescription, right? It's a prescription drug you bill insurance with. Why would they do fecal implants? It's a prescription, right? It's literally covered by insurance. The other things are not. So again, I will let you do what you feel you should in the best means that you believe that you should do as well. I'm not canceling out conventional medicine. Of course, I'm not doing that. Uh, but I simply want to give you alternatives as well for you to be able to make the best educated and best decision for you and your family. So hopefully this was helpful. Again, we've got so much on the horizon in terms of being able to help people heal. Uh, I'll always bring you the latest and greatest. If this podcast was helpful, again, let's spread the word. Please do feel free to share the show with anyone you believe it could serve and I will link everything up today, the research, the books, this nice Cove device over at stephencabral.com forward slash 1995. Take care, everyone. And I'll talk with you tomorrow on our first Cabral House Call of the weekend. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. And before you go, I want to make sure that you know that this is the very last week of our semi-annual sale. That means that after this week, prices go back to their normal everyday price over at Equalife and your ability to save up to 25% off store-wide goes away. So definitely head on over to equi.life and save up to 25% on your favorite nutritional supplements wellness protocols, detoxes, at-home labs, and so much more. Plus, all this week, you'll be able to tune in for daily deals that are only found by heading on over to Equalife. That is equi.life. Check it out for up to 25% off this week while supplies last. Take care.